Okay guys, so this is one example of what we do while the Rusty Beauties are sleeping. Normally I don't show you our projects here because I don't know why, but this, is, this particular one is a little bit unusual for what we do, so I wanted to show it to you. Normally you know we build limousines and lately we've been building them into tow vans like this one or transits or even uh, Dodge Pro Masters and stuff. But this one is a little bit different because it's not exactly a limo, it's something else and now you're gonna see. This is a Sprinter, I'm not sure what year it is, but it's the 140 inch wheelbase, so pretty short one. And it's the 2.1 liter engine, the diesel, and well, I'm gonna show you what we've built in it. As soon as we open the door, some of the lighting comes on and reveals what somebody already guessed. Yes, it is a barber shop, mobile barber shop. And this is the company name, Clutch Barber. And uh, we built all the interior, so it was an empty van when it came here. The only thing that the um, owner did before he brought it here was the flooring now everything is dirty i'm sorry we, we're supposed to deliver this tomorrow and in the morning we're coming and the first thing we're doing is all cleaning because we just finished with the ceiling we installed some stainless ceiling up there and now everything else is ready but it's not clean so i'm sorry i'm showing it to you clean but that's the only opportunity i have when everybody went home now and i can take a video so Again, I'm sorry about the mess inside, but we're gonna clean it tomorrow. So, let's walk in. And first we're gonna start from this side. I'll show you here, we have a 49 inch TV. It slides up and down. Actually, let me turn some power on. The power is turned off. So, now it came on. And we're gonna turn, there's some inverters on. Let's turn the radio off. Okay. So there's some buzzing noise from the plugs. This plug, there's one here, one over there, and one behind there. And they're buzzing, and they're buzzing because we're using an 8,000 watt inverter from 12 volt to 110. And uh, it is not pure sine wave, so the plugs are making this buzzing noise but there's nothing we can do about it unless we can figure something else later i don't know but we'll see so where's the remote okay so i turn the tv on and it goes up and down like this with the remote <laughs> and we're gonna see what's behind it later there's also a coffee maker a little fridge here in the cabinet it's a very small thing but anyway some cabinets here drawers and stuff and here there's a vacuum i don't know if now it's turned off but there's this vacuum so so once you sweep everything from the floor, you put it right in front of it and it... <laughs> and it comes on automatically. So that's here. Also, now when the TV is all the way down, you can see the driver's area. There's not any changes in the driver's area except I put a voltmeter over there for the rear battery. So now they are low a little bit, but uh, I put a voltmeter. So the driver, when he drives, he knows whether the batteries are charged or not. They are charged by an, an alternator, auxiliary alternator that in, we installed in the vehicle just for the two batteries at the back. Plus there's a built-in charger that you can plug in the vehicle in, at night and it charges the two batteries. But I'm going to, I'm going to show you that later. So that's the only change in the driver area. And uh, here we have a little audio system with an equalizer on top because the owner also is a little bit into audio equipment. So 
there's the equalizer and there's a crossover behind the driver's seat and a big amplifier i don't want to play the audio you're not even gonna hear anything on video but anyway so here on the side we have a hdmi and two usbs that are plugged into the back of the tv so because now you don't have access to these so i extended them and I put them on the wall here and there's a master switch on and off here and that's with this side the front side actually let me I'm gonna put the TV up again and it goes up <laughs> uh, at the side here we have a liquor bar with uh, three glasses and three bottles that's what the owner wanted so it's lit up nicely first you have to go with this then this and that's beautiful at the back over there we have some controls for different circuits of lights like we have a light on top of here we have these lights here that light up and we have ceiling lights very bright and they are controlled from there that's also a controller for ac i'll tell you what's going on with the ac a little bit later uh, another voltmeter controls like usb chargers for your phone and stuff controls for the inverters we have two inverters at the back that's a mirror that lights up nicely a uv tower warmer uh, here you have access to a water heater at the back so you can turn from here turn it on and off i don't want to turn it on now uh, a little storage here for towels and stuff and uh, a sink it even runs with water there's a pump in the uh, behind it there's pump behind it that as soon as the pressure in the system drops it turns on so we have this there's a little shower here so he can wash people's hair and uh, some cup holder there for combs and stuff like that and basically that's it another garnish on the other side we have um curtains and we have this lighting here as well why not you can open them see the outside of the shot <laughs> and uh some more storage over there there's room underneath for people's feet i guess and like i said 110 plugs here 110 plugs over there and 110 plugs here behind the um, coffee maker the chair of course it's a vintage chair apparently from 1950 i don't know what he said but it is a very nice chair nice and heavy it's mounted with four big bolts to the floor and it swivels of course I don't know how but it swivels oh actually that's for reclining i think yeah that's so it reclines you have to remove the headrest in order to push it down and people can and you can wash people's hair and then it goes like this this needs to be up when it's like this it swivels and goes this way so you can sit and watch yourself in the mirror so basically that's it that's the interface oh rusty beauty from the horizon <laughs> so that's uh, everything oh i forgot to show you the stainless ceiling so we have a stainless ceiling just the, for decoration it's nice and uh like i think it's beautiful i think it turned out beautiful it has this handle here that lights up as well and even when the power is off some circuits these circuits remain on these lights remain on until you close the door and once you close it they stay on for a while and then they come off i think there you go and then when you open the door again, they come on again. 
I didn't close the door. So the door also has the curtain and the light. The light, when you open the door, the light turns off. <laughs> And basically that's it. Also when the lights are on, this I forgot to show you that. If it's too bright, now you can turn off the inverters from here so the buzzing sound, buzzing sound disappears. And there's also a dimmer switch here for the lights, the ceiling lights. It's very bright when you want it. And that's it inside, so let me show you what powers all that. So very quickly in the engine bay, normally uh, this came originally with an AC on top of the vehicle. I don't know if you can see it, that was original equipment. But we took the compressor out because we wanted on the same spot where the compressor is, we wanted to put the auxiliary alternator, so we put that there and for ac we put a 12 volt electrical motor electrical compressor so that is powered by the two batteries that are in the cargo i'm going to show you so even with the vehicle off you can still uh, use the ac you don't need the engine to be running as long as you have fully charged batteries of course so that's a nice feature and that's it in the engine bay and this is the cargo area so two big 12 volt batteries hooked up in parallel so they still 12 volt it's not 24 volt it's 12 volts uh, so we have some big fuses here including a 500 amp fuse for the 8000 watt inverter so that gives us power for all the appliances like the water heater over there the towel warmer uh, all the the coffee maker the vacuum uh, what else? The 110 volt plugs on the walls and stuff like that. So this is for all the appliances. Then for the TV, we have a 1200 watt um, inverter, which is pure sine wave, so it doesn't make any distortion with uh, the engine running. And um, that's why, uh, so if you want to run a TV in your car, you need a pure sine wave. And this is what this is. It also powers up the TV stand that goes up and down in the fridge. So when there's no customers, when the guy is just sitting in, in his truck relaxing, he can turn off this and all the appliances are gonna turn off except the ones that are powered by this inverter, which is the TV and the uh, fridge. <laughs> the most important ones for the beer, right? Uh, what else? This is the control box for the AC. So for the AC I told you we have another compressor that we installed. So this compressor is controlled now by this, not by the original equipment in the driver's area. So this also power, this also controls the condenser fan on the top and, and of course the blowers that are on the ceiling in the, inside the cabin. So that's for AC. For heat the vehicle still uses the original heat and if uh, in the winter he needs more heat he can always plug in a space heater and uh, just warms up inside um, what else is here it has a built-in charger for the two batteries so you can plug in the vehicle as it is plugged in now you can plug it in at night and the batteries are gonna get charged DC and also to the same plug on the wall we have plugged two little uh, warmer pads under the two water tanks so here we have water tank for the clean water this is an access <laughs> this is access for so you can see the level of the water inside and we have a uh, gray tank gray water underneath which is the dirty water of course so there are two tanks here and both of them have warming pads underneath below them so at night they're plugged in into the wall here and they're gonna stay at about 20 degrees celsius so they won't freeze and hopefully 
that thing there is isolated enough so it's not gonna freeze too and hopefully nothing is gonna freeze but we will see that uh, for filling these up I just have this hose here which is removable you can remove it from there and you can uh, fill it up with additional hose normally I would put a external filler like the 110 volt like here they're external fillers that we can install but they have to be higher than the water tank and now the water tank is pretty high and higher than this level i don't have anywhere to mount that on the wall that's the glass over there so that's why we just left it like this the owner is okay he's gonna fill it up from there or like he's gonna pull out the hose and he's gonna fill it up um, to drain it here we have uh, drainage for the gray water it goes to this hose obviously he can just pull it out from here and put it in a bucket like we did here and open the valve and that's gonna drain it you can even drain through this hose here goes to the other tank and you can drain the other tank too if you want these are breeders and um, also overflow if it uh, if he ref if he overfills them then they're gonna just start pouring on the ground and uh, it has a diaphragm pump that senses the pressure like I said when there's when the pressure in the system drops it automatically turns on of course when the master switch is on when the master switch is off it doesn't turn on at all uh, and what else and the water heater over there a little um, fuse board over there I don't know if you can see it that's the back of the mirror and basically that's it the whole thing um, doesn't look like a lot of work but it was a lot of work I did all the electrical all the AC stuff all the plumbing and a little bit of the design in the beginning the initial design I did in a 3d model and then when it got approved by the owner then uh, we started building it and of course it evolved while we were working my boss is pretty good in design so he is uh, he added a lot of things to my initial design and that's how we ended up with this beautiful vehicle i believe it's beautiful i don't know what you think so that's it like like I said, normally we build limousines and I'm so used to them that they don't get me impressed anymore <laughs> because we build so many of them. But this, because it's something different, I wanted to show it to you and I'm really proud of what we did with, with it. So anyways, guys, that's a little bit different video from my channel, not what I normally post, right? So I think it's, uh, I think it was a good idea for me to show you what we do here in this shop as well, because, because I, I believe that some people think that we restore cars. No, that's my hobby. And sometimes uh, we do this for customers as well, but, but we normally, don't do that we build limousines that's our latest build so, so i just decided to show it to you so anyways guys thanks for watching thanks for commenting and subscribing and i'll see you in the next one bye